in Cork, former employees of Apple were today fondly remembering the visits there of Steve Jobs during the 1980s. The company's arrival in Cork in 1980 was one of Ireland's earliest IT industry inward investment stories. Do you actually believe that every home is, within the short term, the next few years, going to have its own personal computer? Well, we base our, uh, our theory on the fact that we make personal computers that can be used uh, irrespective of location. And the home just happens to be one of the locations that the computers are used in. So we foresee apples being used in homes, but we also foresee them being used in businesses and education. And there's an apple going up on the first space shuttle, as you may know, to control a biology experiment. And of course, Apple lasted longer than the space shuttle. Steve Jobs and Apple seen here arriving in Cork when the company was on the verge of winning the race to bring out the first personal computer. Dan Byrne started with the company in 1981. He met Mr Jobs a number of times over the following 13 years. He was uh, clearly uh, a genius, and I think we'll go down in the annals of history of one of the great inventors and the great innovators. Um, he was a tough guy. Uh, he was tough to work for. He was tough to work with. He was very demanding. Um, but clearly a genius. At the massive Apple facility in Cork City, the American flag was flying at half-mast as a sign of respect for Mr Jobs. Many of the 2,000-plus Apple employees here in Cork are engaged in high-end strategic work, developing and bringing to life the vision Steve Jobs had when he spoke about a world after personal computers. With cloud computing and other exciting developments, the Steve Jobs legacy will be felt for many years to come. Do you think he'll be missed? I have no doubt. I mean, not alone will Apple miss him, but the world in general will miss him. We'll all miss him. Damien Tiernan, RT News, Cork.